What's up guys, David here showing you guys how to make a bucket Minecraft server. And if you're wondering what a bucket Minecraft server is, uh it basically it's it's like, you know, just like making a server for regular Minecraft, but with bucket you can do so much more things. You know, you can have plugins and all the mods. Probably most servers you've ever joined were probably running bucket, which is how they do all those special things you can't do with the regular uh, Minecraft server. So what you're going to want to do is you're going to go on bucket.org. I'm going to have a link to this, so don't worry. Uh, but, you know, you could do this the hard way, which is setting up the server, and you have to make, you know, like a, a run.bat and a whole bunch of annoying stuff. But I always like to just scroll down to the bottom and hit craft bucket auto installer. I'll put a link to this in the description. But as you can see here, this will also answer all your questions. But literally all you have to do is you just hit global download. Alright, let's hit download. Alright, let's put in this CAPTCHA. Oops. Oh, what is this? No, I don't want to be a member. Alright, so now we got to wait our 26 seconds. But anyway, as you can see over here, uh, it's for 1.2.4 and literally all we're going to be doing is just running an EXC um, and also once again this is only for Windows so also we'll take a look over here to see what this is oh yeah um, but yeah so we're just going to download this EXE put it in a folder and run it just like for the regular Minecraft so let's check in on this download over here let's click here download now let's press save Okay, so once it's done downloading, we're just going to want to hit, you know, uh, your name or whatever, your personal folder, then go to downloads, and then as you can see, we've got it right here, so let's minimize, and let's make a new folder on your desktop, we'll name it server, open it up, and let's drag this right on in here, and then bam, hit yes, and let's see next you know it tells you what it's installing alright I agree and this is where we want to select desktop alright we so we just made this folder called server let's press OK let's press next press start and if you want to you can view these instructions which will then open up the PDF this tells you a little bit of you know information about what you're doing uh... you know uh... so if, if you don't really know what you're doing I, I suggest going through here just taking a look but uh... anyway so let's hit exit and as you can see now we have all this crap in here and basically all we're going to want to hit is if you have java seven or java six or you can just hit this one so we'll hit this one but if that one doesn't work you gotta try each one of those and just see if it works and you want to hit allow access as you can see over here at major worlds we've got our plugins folder alright this is pale server manager which makes it real easy for you to do as you see we got all that so we're just going to minimize minimize and as you see, when we go to multiplayer, we go to add server, we go to local, local host. Oops, man, I'm not typing today. And as you can see, we can connect. But uh, yep, that's pretty much how to install a, a bucket server. And uh, if you want to add plugins, it's real simple. So let's hit, well, here, we'll do it actually over here. I've never actually used this before. So let me just figure it out real quick. Let's see. Alright, so to stop your server, you're just going to type, oops, well, that's not how you spell stop. We're just going to type stop. And as you can see here, it's telling us saving changes. And now we're going to want to take ourselves over to Bucket. We're going to go to Get Plugins. And say we want, well, you can type in whatever you want up here. But say we just want uh, Mob Control, whatever the heck this is. But we'll just hit download if it wants to load. Okay, so now it loaded. Let's hit download here. Thank for downloading. Blah blah blah. Yeah, this guy's got its own website going here and everything. So we're gonna hit save file. So as you can see, it just saved our dot jar over in our downloads folder. And as you can see here, we got our plugins folder. And it's really as simple as we just drag it over. We exit. 
and then we hit starter again so now we've got it all started up and as you can see if we go over to plugin manager we've got manta mob control so that's how you install plugins and um I mean that pretty much everything else is self explanatory. Uh read that PDF if you got any more questions. But this is just a quick video on Bucket. Uh it's really necessary for a great server. Um if you want uh, your friends to be able to join this server, I suggest you port forward unless your router magically lets you if you want to know how to port forward, just head over to portforward.com, look up your router number and uh Voila, you can follow the tutorial, it will tell you. But anyway, uh, this has been David. Hope you guys like this video. Don't forget to like this video if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to follow our Twitter for updates. And uh, thanks for subscribing if you have so far.